The Horrible Harry Moves Up to Third Grade, Chapter 4. Things Get Rocky. Oh, and before I forget, I have my third grade reading buddy, my Rosie. And I have my fifth grade reading buddy, my Lillian. And my brother and the other puppy is back there. Yes, but you can't see them at the moment. Oh. Go, go. And Freya is right oh, by the And cat. Freya is sleeping here, too. All right. And the next week, things got a little rockier between Harry and Sydney. When we were getting off the bus, Harry said, Hey, Sid, how would you like to see me eat rocks for breakfast? Huh? Sydney peeked in the bag of rocks Harry was carrying. There was mica and pyrite and granite and quartz. How'd you like to see me eat rocks? Harry repeated. Sydney's eyes bulged. I'd love to see you do that. Well, it's going to cost you something, Harry said. You can't have my milk money, Sydney warned. I don't want your milk money, Harry replied. I want something else. What? To see if you can run around the playground four times and get to our room before the bell rings. That's it? Harry nodded. I'll be standing by the window counting to make sure you run each lap. Mary and Songlin and Ida took a step back. You're eating rocks for breakfast, they said. If Sidney does his part of the bargain, Harry said. You're looking at the roadrunner, Sidney said. See you in the room when you eat rocks. And he took off. Harry and I dashed upstairs and peered out the classroom window. There was Sydney racing around the playground. Each time he ran a lap, Harry held a finger up. Every now and then, Sydney would look up to see if Harry was watching. There's the picture, him running around. <laughs> yeah. Doug and Harry are looking through the window, That's watching. That's probably not even going to do it. When Harry held up three fingers, I looked at the clock. Five minutes to go. Sydney was slowing down now. Finally, he finished the fourth lap. Just as he got in the room and plopped down in a seat, the bell rang. I, I made it, Sidney gasped. His hands were touching the floor. Now it's, it's time for your part of, of the bargain. Harry opened up his backpack and reached for a napkin. He tucked it inside his shirt. Song Lee and Mary looked worried when he set the, when he set the bag of heavy rocks on his desk. Here I go, he said. Then he reached into his backpack and pulled out a box of salt and shook some out on his tongue. Mmm, poor man's potato chips. Sydney sat up. What are you doing? You're not eating rocks. You're eating salt. There's salt in my That's what salt is, Sid. Rocks. Harry leaned back in his chair, just enough so he wouldn't fall, and sprinkled some more salt in his mouth. Delicious. Sidney crossed his arms. I ran myself ragged to see you eat salt. Yup, Harry said, licking his lips. Mary and Ida smiled. Song Lee giggled. <laughs> I just put two thumbs up. Sid had it coming for killing Harry's spider. I was actually enjoying third grade until Miss Mackle made that dreaded announcement. <laughs>